Yo, what's good, YouTube? Today I'm back with another video, man. And today's video is on the Two Way Temple Pusher. Yes, that's the build name Two Way Temple Pusher. This build gets an 87 driving dunk, it gets an 88 perimeter defense, a 90 steal, 81 block, and much, much more. Shout out to NBA 2K Labs. This build did come from them. On their website, they have all the builds that you guys would want and all the build names. So if you guys want to see all the build names or want to make a build with a different type of name, go on their website, nba2klabs.com. You guys can see all the builds they have on their website. And also shout out to Camerons. All the data for the builds come from him. So go to his channel and hit that subscribe button. The link to Camerons YouTube channel will be in the description down below. But before we get into the video, can we get 150 likes on this video? 150 likes will be insane. Thank you guys for all the support you guys have been showing lately. I really, really appreciate it. Also, hit that subscribe button. We're currently at 4,750 subscribers. 4,750 subscribers. We are really, really close to 4.8K. If we can hit 4.8K before next week, that will be insane. If we can hit 5K before 2K24, that will be super, super crazy. So hit that subscribe button. That would be amazing if we could hit 5K before 2K24. Now, let's get into the two-way tempo pusher. All right, so once you're in the My Player Builder, what you guys want to do, you guys want to make your position a shooting guard. Next is Handness. You guys can go with left or right. I'm going to go with left because that's what I'm more used to. But there's no advantage to either. Jersey number, you guys can pick your favorite number. I'm going to go with 60. All right, so the height you guys want to make this build, you guys want to make this build 6'9". And as you guys know, 6'9 is the meta height, which makes this build even better. So we definitely want to go with 6'9 as the height. Next is weight. What we want to do, we want to go with 187. And wingspan, what we want to do, we want to make it 7'7. Seven, seven, so we can play the best defense we can on this build. And this build does have good defense. All right, so upgrading this build. Make sure you guys upgrade this build exactly how I show. Because just one stat, one stat can get you a completely different build and build name. So make sure you guys watch the whole video and upgrade as I show. All right, so first we're going to start off with finishing. For finishing, what you guys want to do, you guys want to make your close shot a 67. A 67 close shot is pretty decent. This will allow you to catch standing lobs and also it will help you with post hooks. We probably won't be going for post hooks too much on this build and we won't be going for much standing lobs. So 67 is pretty good for close shot. Driving layup, what you guys want to do, you guys want to make it an 80. And you guys always want to have a good layup on your builds on 2K23 because layups are very good on this game. I'm not sure why 2K made layups so good this year, but it's really good this year. So you guys definitely want to have an 80 driving layup. Next is our driving dunk. And you guys want to make that an 87. And with an 87 driving dunk, we do get pro contacts. And also we get gold limitless takeoff. And you guys know about limitless takeoff. Limitless takeoff is probably one of the best badges on 2K23. So we definitely want to put on gold limitless takeoff on this build. And next is our standing dunk. You guys want to make that a 68. You guys want to have a 68 standing dunk. You guys probably will be able to go for standing dunks on this build. Probably won't get it unless you're very, very open. But this is just so we can get the build name to a temporary pusher. If you guys want to take out your standing dunk and see if you still get the name, you guys can definitely try that out. But I'm going to follow what NBA 2K Lab showed. And I'm going to put a 68 standing dunk. Once you're done with finishing, you guys want to go to shooting. For shooting, what you guys want to do, you guys want to make your mid-range a 75. And with a 75 mid-range, you guys can definitely be consistent in the midi. Even fading in the midi, you guys can be very consistent with a 75. So you guys don't have to worry about being inconsistent in the midi. Next is our three-pointer. You guys want to make that a 79. And with a 79 three-pointer, you guys can be consistent. If you guys are a good shooter, you guys know how to shoot on this game. You guys can definitely be consistent with a 79 three-pointer and on this build you guys really have a choice what you guys want to do you guys can play lockdown or guard so if you guys are playing lockdown you guys decide to spot up in the corner or on the hash you guys can definitely spark down with a 79 or even if you want to play point guard you have to go for those quick stops you guys can spark down with a 79 three-pointer when i had my two-way tempo pusher on 2k22 i really had the best of both worlds when i had to play lock i would just switch to my spot up badges play lockdown and when i play guard i would switch to my guard badges and just go crazy and it's the same way on 2k23 you guys can play lock you guys can play guard once you're done with shooting you guys want to go to playmaking for playmaking what you guys want to do you guys want to make your pass accuracy at 82 and with an 82 pass accuracy we should be throwing fast passes man 
you guys do not want to be throwing slow passes on this game so i would always recommend to go with a 75 plus this build has an 82 so i would relate that to gold bullet passer on 2k22 if you guys remember gold bullet passer from 2k22 that's why i would say 82 pass accuracy feels like next is our ball handle you guys want to max that out you guys want to make that at 87 and look at all the badges we get with an 87 ball handle we get quick first step on gold we get unpluckable on gold we get killer combos on silver you get clamp breaker on gold which is very good you get handle for days on silver and other great badges man so we definitely want to make our ball handle 87 we will be able to dribble on this build as well if you guys do need dribble moves for this build i would definitely recommend you guys to watch the statistics he has great dribble moves i copied his dribble moves and i really like his sigs on current gen i think it's a little bit different but he definitely has great dribble moves you guys should definitely try it out next is speed with ball you guys want to make that a 75 this is for dribble move requirements if you guys have less than a 75 speed with ball you might not be able to get some dribble moves so you guys definitely want to make your speed with ball a 75 so you guys can get all the dribble moves you guys want and need once you're done with playmaking you guys want to go to defense for defense and i'm not gonna lie the defensive stats on this build is pretty fire you guys will see how you guys are really a lockdown on this build so for interior defense what you guys want to do you guys want to make your interior defense a 76 and with a 76 interior defense you guys should get a bunch of stops in the paint you guys are 6'9 on this build with a 77 wingspan so a 76 interior defense you guys should get a bunch of stops in the paint so 76 interior defense is pretty good perimeter defense what you guys want to do you guys want to make that at 88 we want to have an 88 perimeter defense. We want to get stops on this build. We want to play the best on ball defense that we can. So we need an 88 perimeter defense. And as you guys can see, we get Hall of Fame Menace on this build with an 88 perimeter defense. We get Challenger on gold for those who like Challenger. We get Pick Doctor on gold. We also get Clamps on silver. Silver Clamps is pretty good. I wouldn't say you need anything higher than that. And to make our on ball defense even better, you guys want to upgrade your steel. You guys want to make that a 90, man. You guys want to have a 90 steel on this build. We get glove on silver. We get interceptor on gold, which is pretty good. You guys definitely want to put interceptor on your builds. So we should definitely be able to pluck some people when we're playing defense on them. Or if someone throws a bad pass, you guys should definitely be able to get steals on this build. Next is block. You guys want to make that at 81. We will be able to block a lot of people on this build. We get chase down artists on gold, which we definitely need. Because again, everybody on this game has limitless takeoff. So we need that so we need that gold chase down artist to stop them and we also get anchor on bronze anchor is one of the best badges in my opinion on the game because anchor helps you contest better and it helps you get more blocks so we definitely definitely like anchor we definitely want to put anchor on bronze and with anchor and gold chase down artists we should be getting a lot of blocks on this build next is offensive rebound we want to make that a 76 a 76 offensive rebound we should be able to get rebounds when we play 1v1 court twos and even if we're playing threes and i'm saying we box out the center we should be able to grab a couple boards and we did get more defensive badges once we upgraded our offensive rebound next is our defensive we want to make that a 73 so we could get more badges once you're done with defense you guys want to go to physicals physicals what we want to do we want to upgrade our speed we want to make our speed a 78 this is so we can play good on ball defense because speed is how fast your player is without the ball in your hand so we don't want to be a slug we don't want to be slow we want to play good on ball defense we want to keep up with the person that we're guarding so we need a good speed and you guys want to make it a 78. next is acceleration you guys want to make that an 81. you guys want to have acceleration on all your builds acceleration is what controls your speed boost so if you guys want to have a fast speed boost you guys have to have a good acceleration so we want to make it 81. especially when you have a build that can dribble you want to have a good acceleration strength you guys can make that a 70. Vertical, what you guys want to do, you guys want to make that a 75. This will help with blocks. It will help with rebounds. And for those who are on next gen, you guys need a 75 vertical if you guys want pro contact dunks. Current gen, you don't need a 75 vertical to get contacts, but I will still recommend to keep a 75 vertical for the blocks and the rebounds. And next is stamina. You guys want to upgrade that to 95, and you guys will be a 99 overall on this two-way tempo pusher, man. You guys are 6'9, which is meta height. You guys are able to finish you guys get pro contact dunks you guys can shoot on this build you guys can dribble and your defense is amazing it's a two in one build man so if you guys been wanting to make a guard if you guys been wanting to make a lock at the same time and you couldn't choose between the two you guys can definitely make this build right here man so once you're done upgrading this build you guys want to continue takeover 
primary takeover, we get slashing takeover, we get shot creating takeover, we get playmaking takeover, and lockdown takeover. And these are all great takeovers. It's really all preference what takeover you want to pick. Me, I'm going to go with slashing takeover as my primary and lockdown takeover as my secondary, man. Just to give it that two-way slashing playmaker feeling, man. Because a two-way tempo pusher and a two-way slashing playmaker are kind of alike. So I'm definitely going with slashing as my primary and lockdown as my secondary. But again, takeover is preference. There's no such thing as a bad takeover. Once you're done picking your takeover, you guys can continue. And boom! You have a two-way temple pusher, man. This build is fire, man. And it really is a good build. If you guys can shoot, you guys can spark down on this build. You guys have good finishing on this build. This build has great defense and it can dribble. It can really do it all. This build can be very dangerous in the right hands. And as you guys know, I always show you guys the best badges. So let's get it. All right, so the best badges for this two-way tempo pusher, what you guys want to use on finishing, you guys want to use Acrobat on bronze. You guys want to use Limitless Takeoff on gold. You guys want to use Fearless Finisher bronze. You guys want to use Posterizer silver and Slithery Finisher on silver. Next is shooting, what you guys want to use on shooting. You guys want to use Agent 3s on bronze. You guys can fade threes on this build, especially if you're a very good shooter. And you guys know the timing for fades. You guys can definitely, definitely fade on this build at the three point line. So you guys want to use Agent 3s on bronze. You guys want to use Green Machine on silver. Volume shooter on gold. This will help you with your green window. The more you shoot, the more your green window goes up. Next is amped on silver, guard up on silver. Blinders on bronze, dead eye bronze, and limitless range on bronze. You guys can take out dead eye and blinders and put it on like catch and shoot, play more corner specialist. I only put this because these are guard badges, but you guys can swap it out if you guys want to. Next is playmaking, which you guys want to use. You guys want to use clan breaker on silver, handle for days on silver, quick first step on gold, needle thread or bronze, killer combos on silver, and unpluckable on gold. You guys can take out gold unpluckable and put silver unpluckable and get more badges. But if you guys really like unpluckable, you guys can keep it on gold. Next is defense. For defense, which you guys want to use, you guys want to use anchor on bronze. Definitely want to use anchor on bronze. Flames on silver. Hall of Fame menace. Glove on silver. Gold interceptor. Gold chase down artist. And bronze pig dodger. So those are the best badges for this two-way tempo pusher. If you guys like this build, leave a like down below if you guys had a two-way tempo pusher on 2k22 leave a comment down below i definitely want to see how many people had a two-way tempo pusher also hit that subscribe button we're trying to hit 5k before 2k24 and we have more builds on the way and we're going to be making a bunch of content for 2k24 so hit that subscribe button i hope you guys enjoyed the build i hope you guys enjoyed the video have a blessed day peace